I've brought the cheapest helmet on Amazon to test and destroy. Now this helmet only costs $29.99. It's made by Leopard and it is the LEO 819. Now, like I said, $29.99 and you don't get a choice of colors for that price. You get no choice literally whatsoever at all. But hey, it's $29.99. How good can this actually be? So let's take a look exactly what you get. I mean, it's beautiful. It's white, it's got pink butterflies, and that's <laughs> what you get for $29.99. Now, having a quick look at the lining, it doesn't feel too bad. It also has an ECR 2205 rating, what I'm quite shocked by, because I was expecting this not to have a rating whatsoever at all. But again, the lining doesn't feel too bad. It even has a wind protection for the chin as well. What's quite impressive, having a quick look at the buckle, it's no D-ring that's proven to be ultimately safe. It is just a buckle style strap that can be extremely adjustable and comfortable and quick and easy. But personally, looking at the quality of that, I'd rather have a D-ring personally. But let's be fair, to this helmet. Let's give it a proper little road test to see what the quality's actually like out on the road. And then of course, we'll give it the torture test. Well, out on the road, the fit, I mean, it does fit. It is nice and secure on my head, but the cheap pads feel less cheap pads and more back of the ear pads. I definitely say it's lacking in cheap pad and also that soft comfort. It's got quite a hard feel to it, but it is brand new out of the box. The other side is there is no pin lock as well. So if this was a bit of a rainy, damp day, I would be pretty much steamed up. So no place for a pin lock in it at all whatsoever. Now, it feels like, let alone the visor's closed, I actually have a breeze hitting my face. So either the vents are absolutely amazing, or there is some kind of gaps that brings me on to the noise of the helmet as you're going down the road. It is like having almost an open face helmet with the sound of the whoosh of the wind. But other than all of that, it's quite good. It's all right ish now i hear you what about safety being so cheap well now it's time for the torture test
Well, I've got to say, I am seriously impressed. Impressed how quick the grinder went through this helmet. It was literally like a knife going through butter. But the thing of it is, it did survive the grind test. There's a little mark on it just here. The flame test, there's a little scorch mark on it. I probably wouldn't ever use the visor again. And also, of course, the grinder. It did go through it, but I'm impressed with how much foam is actually in it. I thought there would be less. Now, it's not got the latest in cone technology or Rion, like some of the more premium helmets that you see on the market today. But to be fair, there is a decent amount of foam. But I need to answer the big questions, don't I? The real important questions. I mean, would I buy this helmet? Well, no, some idiot just cut it in half. But would I subscribe to this channel? Well, yes, so I can see you in the next Helmet Head adventure.